what does saying goodbye to a friend in the store or censoring of speech have to do with religion exactly? The answer to this is nested in what we regard as precious or holy in our modern age. The sociologist Irving Goffman talked about the double-faced reality of our social lives by associating behavior to actors in a theater. And this is where we begin our breakdown. Who are you really is a question we ask when someone's actions don't align with their past behavior. You know people fake their personalities, obviously. We all do. Let me explain. Goffman introduced the ideas of role distancing, front stage and backstage. These concepts are essential for explaining social behavior. When we are social, we enter roles and we play characters. Just like in a theater, we choose to play the role we desire the most with regards to how we want to be perceived. But we are still distancing ourselves from the role we play in the sense that our behavior when we are social are not who we truly are as a person. This ties into the concept of front stage, which is the way we present ourselves. To others. The backstage is where we create and adjust our personal front. Additionally, it seems like social situations have rules and regularities. We smile at or look at or say hello to someone if we want to interact with that person. This is what Goffman calls the opening phase of an encounter. Obviously, if the other person ignores our initial signals, like ghosting us, there won't be any encounter taking place at all. The interaction order proceeds to the next phase, the middle act. The middle act is decided by what is called a situation definition, which is a concept that gives a given social situation a frame of understanding for the people involved. Social situations can only be navigated through if the people involved have a shared understanding of what is going on which roles they are supposed to play, what the expectations are, and so on. And lastly, the interaction order has a closing stage. We might gradually begin taking steps away from the person we are interacting with or tell them that we have a meeting to attend to. The closing stage is particularly challenging for people because people may easily get offended by the one who wants to close the interaction first. The underlying reason for this has to do with what our society today regards as holy, which, according to Goffman, is the sanctity of the self. Not only are we playing roles when encountering people from day to day, we are also constantly trying not to offend the other person's identity. This is the concept of demeanor and deference. Demeanor is about how we make ourselves look trustworthy in front of others because our reputation may be life or death important to us. And deference is how we make others look good. All of this means that interaction in modern societies is essentially micro-rituals where we worship each other's holy identities. We haven't necessarily become less religious. Nietzsche said that God is dead, not that the idea of religion is dead. We have merely substituted God and other religious symbols and objects with our own personal identities. Going back to the opening of this video, censoring of free speech is largely due to political correctness, which in turn is a strategy we use when we try not to offend other people's identities. This is because social interaction nowadays are micro-rituals 
where we worship each other's identities in some way. This is where the element of religion ties to censoring of free speech, which may explain why we are so hung up on political correctness nowadays. Personally, for me, Goffman's theory is onto something, but I would like to hear your take on it in the comments below.